Hello, Carla. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine. It's, it's Monday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's your weekend? Uh, a regular weekend, I think. I did nothing. <laughs> Oh, that's good. I usually don't don't get out of home. I am in the point in my life that my weekends is when I do most of the things. I work more <laughs> because I have to do this and that and that and that. I normally just watch TV. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had to work. Um, where later. where do you say you work, Carla? I'm sorry, I forgot. Uh, Promerica Bank. Okay. What do you do there? I work at Compliment Department. Compliment? Or... Compliment. Uh -huh. Okay. I have to give answers to governmental institution. Oh, okay. I, I don't, uh, I don't work with clients. Okay, that's good. That's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult, yes. Hello, Veronica. Hi, Elena. I see you are in. Hi. There's Ruth. Are you are you guys watching the news about this Iota? They say it's gonna be very strong. Man, has have you have you seen the five? Have you seen the videos of Nicaragua? I don't know if they're true or not, but wow, it's scary. They say it's, it's stronger than ETA, much stronger. Yeah. The videos in Nicaragua look horrible in this moment. But my question is, what well, when it comes to El Salvador, it's going to come in through Oriente, right? Yes. So San Miguel, the... La Union. It's going to be difficult. Hello, Arturo. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. How was your weekend? Um, uh, fine. I, I had a party. Oh, yeah? What kind friend. of party? Um, I don't know how to say that, but bachelor... Bachelor, bachelor, bachelor party. party. Uh -huh. Bachelor party. So it was only boys. Uh, no, both, because the couple was a bachelor party for the couple. <laughs> really? I don't know. I don't. Yes, but all friends be there. Okay. Was there? So it was not a bachelor party. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it is a bachelor party, but you still have to give your friend a real, real bachelor party. Yeah, yeah. In, in January, maybe, or February. Yeah. The bachelor party, official. <laughs> Good. All right, uh, Veronica, hi, how was your weekend? Hi, uh, really hard. Why? I, I moved to another house. And oh man, I hate moving. To move all of stuff. Yes. Where do you live now? In La Gloria, Mexicano. Have you noticed that when you move, you have many things that you say, oh my God, why do I have so many things? A lot of pairs of shoes and a lot of clothes. Oh my God, I don't know why I have so much. <laughs> yeah, things that you don't need. 
Yes, <laughs> it's true. Maybe, <laughs> maybe because the, the dress, for example, I am, am when I won't wait. And now the, the dress is not, not fit me. It doesn't fit me. Yeah. It doesn't fit me. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let's hear, let's continue with the class. It looks like a Halloween background. It looks like an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Yes. Yeah. Okay, welcome everybody who's coming in. I see a lot of people jumping in now. Welcome, happy Monday. Okay, um, I'm going to put the audio. Please tell me if you can hear, if you can't hear. Ready to watch this new intro video? Try your best to understand what they are talking about. Good luck. to ballroom and salsa to swing. Learning to dance is one of today's hottest trends and tango dancing is the hottest of them all. Tango fever has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane and once a month people come here to the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts to learn tango. Hi, how's your tango lesson going? Oh, it's super fun. So why did you decide to take a tango class? I was just interested in dancing. And a lot of our friends come here. What's the best way to improve your dancing? Just by going to a tango club. And by practicing hard. Too. How did you learn to dance? By coming to class. And why did you decide to take tango lessons? Because I wanted to keep fit and have fun at the same time. Well, I took some lessons and I come here to practice. So what's a good way to improve your dancing? By practicing with a guy, but you have to find a good partner. We're going to talk to a tango instructor, Uche. Hi. Hi. Why do you think tango is so popular? I think tango is popular because it's very exotic and it's also very challenging for people. And once people learn something that they find challenging and it's very exotic, I think they feel very rewarded. Step six, back, collect, seven, and then instead of collecting, you actually switch your weight. What do you recommend for people who want to learn tango? I would recommend starting with group classes or private classes. And after you've learned the basics of tango, what's a good way to improve your moves? By going out dancing with the people that you've taken the lessons with, practicing at home, listening to the music, just feeling very comfortable with the music, and then going out dancing again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about six years. Why? because I love tango. And what is it about tango that you love so much? I think it's got great rhythm. I think it's got passion. It's a fun type of dance. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn to tango? A lot of people don't think they can dance until they get out here and try it. I think dancing starts by taking the initiative. Take a class. Do you prefer taking lessons in a studio or going out somewhere like this? I prefer going out and dancing. There's a different energy. It's more social. But there's nothing wrong with taking lessons. I recommend it. Why do you think tango is so popular? You can grow into it. You let your body move to the music and you create a dance with someone. And it's relaxing once you learn it. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn tango? It depends on how you learn. Some people learn best by taking classes. I learn best by watching and listening to the music and then getting brave and trying it a little. You know, learn by doing and practicing. Okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. How do I get started? It's not too difficult. Take this arm behind my back. Yeah. This one up, and I just start walking. That's perfect. <laughs> Try step to the side. Good, and I step back. Now side again. Hey, 
this is a lot of fun. You should try it. This is Kevin actually dancing tango from the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are they learning how to dance? They mentioned that like 500 times, I think. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was on mute. <laughs> Have you ever danced tango? No, I no. only try in my class. I never. 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 Zumba. I remember when I was small, my mother made me dance with her tango. There's a big controversy between Uruguay and um, Argentina. They were like, where the origin of tango comes from. Because Argentina says that it's from Argentina, Uruguay says it's from Uruguay. So it's a big mess. Hi, Patricia. My neck hurts. Really? Hi, guys. I'll be here. <laughs> you can see us okay, Patricia? What? <laughs> you can see us okay? <laughs> Yes. Your camera, Patricia. What, what's wrong with the camera? <gasps> Beatriz, what's wrong with her camera? Well, now it's okay, I think. Oh, there you go. What was wrong with her camera? No, my camera is right, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, but what was wrong with Patricia's camera? Do you know that word? What was wrong with it? It was... Upside down. Yes. Upside I down. Think. No, no it's, yeah, I, I'm sorry, that, that is the That's correct right. word. Upside down. Upside down. Oh. Como huevos estrellados is sunny side up. Sunny side up. Could you repeat that? Because an egg, right? An egg has the white and the sunny part. So people say the sunny side up. El lado soleado para arriba, imagine that. Sunny side <laughs> up. Yeah. In Spanish we say estrellado. So in English that would be what? A wrecked, a wrecked egg. What's that, a wrecked egg? Hmm? That's the meaning. No, no, no. That's how we say in Spanish. Racked, estrellado. Okay. <laughs> Which is... Okay, class. Listen, in this class, you will learn how to make... Well, I'm sorry. Did, did you understand the video? What did, what, yes. did people, what did people do in that bridge? Ingrid? They were dancing tango. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they were in... Tango classes. Mm -hmm. And from what I understood in the video, it's like a tradition, right? No, I didn't. I, I didn't. I don't know. I... Yeah, I think it's like a tradition that, you know, people reunite there just to practice tango. Mm. Nice way to meet girls. Depends. <laughs> And, and vice versa, <laughs> girls too, nice way to meet boys. No, Wait. I have been in, in dancing classes and, and, and the majority of the, the people are women. That is not. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I tried, but in a, a they name a, a gender name a kizomba that is a merge of tango, bachata, and lambada. 
and it's not easy. <laughs> What's that called? Kisomba. Kisomba. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's a I, song, very nice song, Lento de Daniel Santa Cruz. I, I, I want. Yeah. Okay. Maybe if you can send me the um, in WhatsApp. I hate bachata. I really hate bachata, but. Well, maybe I hate that Romeo Santos because I like the old budget. <laughs> I but, have a guilty pleasure with that. <laughs> oh my God, I don't understand. It's like dude, and and I and and I just feel sing like a girl. Shame man. the song. <laughs> no, I like I like old bachata. No, but what I was gonna tell you is that I I lived in San Miguel like two years, like ten years ago, <clears throat> and in that in that place. I don't know, maybe because there was a lot of people from Nicaragua and, and stuff like that. I like to see people dance bachata. Isn't it's it nice. nice. It's really yeah. nice. But people that know, I mean, I can't dance. I only dance, you know, mm -hmm. when I am not sober. <laughs> but but I like to <laughs> see people dance. With your hands dance. up. <laughs> yeah, you know. you know. You know, when you dance the same for every song, cumbia, electro, whatever. <laughs> But Aniceto but I do. Molina. Yeah. We would like it. Oh, of course. Who doesn't like Aniceto? If you don't like Aniceto, you're a liar. <laughs> no, I mean no. I don't like it. Oh, so you I, you I don't, don't dance I, Aniceto on Christmas? No, I I don't like cumbia. <gasps> you don't no, like cumbia? No, wait, that's no. really big thing. I am a diehard rock so fan, so and I like cumbias. No, I don't like it. I hate them. <laughs> You don't like Carmen? So I, I like Anita. dance, but I don't like to dance cumbia. So I prefer to to dance vallenato, bachata, or salsa. But I don't like cumbias. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm very <laughs> strange. No, women. you you know you know what else is a good good dance? Well, I've seen it in in Mexico. Um, banda. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's really you, funny to dance that. Oh my God! I mean, the woman literally is plastic or, or rubber because it's very it's very nice to go to like a a, a jaripeo, I think it's called, and and they that no what's what's that called? What's that called when when they sing in a r r ronda rodeo some, rodeo? No, but there's a word. I will remember, but when you see people Haripeo? dance banda, no, it's not Haripeo. It's, it's, it's the concerts that, my, that like Vicente Fernandez, they do. In, no, there, there's like a special concerts they do in a, ah, I, I will remember. But it's very Palenque. nice to Palenque. Palenque, thank you. Yeah, those Palenques are nice. And, and you see those people dance, man, that's that's crazy. And it's incredible how the man, he worries more about the hat than the woman. He worries more about the sombrero, you know. Sombrero in one hand, and in the other hand, the woman, like, dun, 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 dun. that's cool. Yeah, I tried. I tried to dance that, but like two minutes later, nope, I'm out. <laughs> it was difficult. <laughs> All right, but oh my God, Ingrid, you don't like you don't no. like cumbia. Uh, uh, because uh, my first and uh, my favorite gender gen is genre is right the pronunciation. Yeah, genre. Uh, it's genre. It's rock and electronic. I'm a rocker from of the bottom with my heart. So you're a rocker in electronic. Yeah. Yeah, but it don't matter when you dance and dance in cumbia. I'm a rocker. No, I, I am, too. I'm out <laughs> when the, the the cumbias started. I go to my city. you you go go out <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like juan gabriel man everybody likes juan gabriel you don't like juan yeah gabriel? yeah i, I saw him <laughs> I, I saw him two times in concert man that was great i went with my mom so you're a rocker ingrid oh cool <laughs> yeah what bands do you like just tell me three bands and i and i see what kind of rocker you are molotov i love it i love them but they're all, they're all from old school. The news, I don't like it too much. Okay. And there is um, him, there is a gothic, uh, a gothic group. And him. Afi, there is another uh, no, gothic group. 
No, also and like disturbed. like fired. And disturbed. Disturbed. Yeah. That guy has a good voice. Yeah, I really like it. The voice. I like that sound of silence. It was a good. Yeah. A good cover. They have. Yeah. They have a good music. Okay, so in this class, participants will learn how to make proper rising and falling intonation in questions of choice. Hmm, this is interesting. Let's see. So, intonation in question of choice. Ah, she has glasses. All right, let's do it. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar? Or the violin. Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, so in the intonation there, you mentioned two objects, right? Or two subjects. In the first one, you have to have like a little, you have to say like a little bit longer. Like, for example, do you like cumbias or rock? Or both? So really that, it, the intonation becomes how interested you are in the question, in the answer. You know, like, um, it's boring if you say, do you like coffee or tea? You know, and so you can say, do you like coffee or tea? It's just an intonation that says it. Can you give me an example, um, Yesenia? I like pupusas. Give me an example, like, with what I told you. Uh, other example? Of... No, no, imagine I tell oh. you, hey, I like pupusas. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell me? Do you like rice or? Corn. Mm -hmm. Do you like the, do you like pupusas, uh, the rice or corn or revueltas mixed pupusas? Okay, but okay, good. But in this case, r rice and corn would be the two, the two comparisons, because those are okay. the two styles of pupusas we eat. Mm -hmm. If you say revueltas, which would be mixed, you say, w "Do you like the mixed or just uh, the cheese? plain only cheese or only cheese?" Um, I really don't know what I like. I, I like rice pupusas, I guess. But I like corn, too, as long as they're good. I like the cheese pupusas, the corn, and the mix. I like the, the rice. You know, one thing, though, I don't like three flavors. I always like two. I, I Or I like... Uh, Chicharron with cheese or cheese and beans, but I don't like beans, chicharron, and cheese because the pupusas are very small. And if you mix those three things, you really don't feel the flavor. Like you don't enjoy. Like mmm, you don't. You don't. Mmm, that's a bean. Mmm. Mm, oh, there's a chicharron. The taste is the taste is mixed. The taste is uh, is the chicharron. Cheese and, and beans is the mix and uh, well, only flavor is great. Yeah, it's true. Like. Sometimes sometimes I only like plain chicharron. Have you ever eaten pineapple pupusas? No. They are so good. I don't like the the the, the flavor, the sweet the with with salt. Only you know? sweet, only uh, salt, but the 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 mix, the, the mix, the sweet with salt. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, so you don't like, you don't really like tropical things that much. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, cool. 
All right, so do you understand intonation? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. That was easy. It's just, and, and when you say an intonation, it's how interested you are in the answer, really. Because um, if, if you say, do you like rice or corn? Or like, hey, let's eat pupusas, but do you like rice or corn? I'm interested to know because I, I'm, I'm going to buy some. So if you want rice, then I'll buy rice. If you want corn, I'll buy corn. And now I think they are um, yucca, yucca. I have not tried those, but I want to. And potato. They are nice. They are delicious. Okay. Where, where, where did you eat them? In Margot. Okay, interesting. It's like okay. um, uh, rice. Similar. Oh, really? And potato yeah. too, um, Veronica said. Oh, interesting. Potato is uh, next to, to the to the Despensa of Don Juan in Holanda. Or maybe in, yeah, next to, to the Despensa. In front of the Despensa of Holanda. Maybe, right. Yeah, in front, yeah. In front of the Despensa of Holanda, it's uh, pupusas of, of potato, or yoga, and I don't know, I forgot the word, platano, how do you say platano? Platin. Platin. But I don't know where the state is kind of weird. <laughs> Platine. Yeah. That's interesting. I would like to eat that. All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I never no tried I never tried eating pupusas the shrimp. I have I have. They're good. But this is maybe a lot of, of soy oil. I don't know. You know, you know which pupusas are good, but they're difficult to make. Well, they're not difficult, but avocado pupusas. Where? Well, I, I yeah, I ate those in bungalows in Los Planes. Oh, really? Yeah, but they're kind of different. Never try it. Yeah, but you know, I recommend you that if you ever make an avocado pupusa, you have to make it really quick. Because the, the avocado turns black easy, you know, with the heat. So there, you know, there has to be like a technique. I mean, you have to open immediately the avocado and start making them. Because the avocado, you know, you know when the avocado turns black and then turns like this strange yes. flavor. But if 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 you perfection it, it's very good. It's like eating tortilla, hot tortilla with avocado and cheese. Oh my God, I just ate dinner and now I'm getting hungry again. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's continue then. <laughs> okay, now, um, do you know the difference I rather and I prefer? It means the same thing. Okay. Kind of, mm, that's, what gonna, that's what we're gonna we're do. We're making right choices. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, making choice, but it's really not the same thing. Watch, let's watch the video and then I'll explain to you. Okay. Listen to the prepositions, I prefer them. Nice to have you back. In this section, you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. 
I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I'd rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note, both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to, I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, another important thing about this lesson is that um, when you say you rather, that means you like the two. When you say you prefer, is you're choosing one over the other. Let me give you an example. Okay, Yesenia, what do you prefer, sweet food or salty food? I prefer a, a salty food. Okay, very good. So now listen to, listen to how you answer here. I prefer salty food to sweet. To sweet. I prefer yes. salty food to sweet food. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to say food because it's in the question. It's introduced. Okay. Aquí literalmente usted dijo, yo prefiero la comida salada a la dulce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you prefer the two, the two you like. Mm -hmm. That's when you use rather. So you can say like, I like, I like the two, but um, I rather eat salty food than sweet food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Geo. Which concert would you rather go? But do you like ACDC? Yes. Do you like Iron Maiden? Yes. Which concert would you rather go to? An ACDC concert or Iron Maiden? Mm. <laughs> that's difficult though. I like the two of them. You see that 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 that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So in yeah. this case you you but say I'd rather mm -hmm. or I'd rather I'd rather go to Iron Maiden concert than ACDC. Yeah, than ACDC. Okay, good. Really? I'd rather go to ACDC all the way. Uh, because uh, maybe because I'm I'm better familiarized with Maiden than. Yeah. than okay, ACDC. good. Yeah. And you know that that's a very difficult question. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me see. <clears throat> Ruth, single Ruth. Hi. Are you there? Hi, Ruth. Hi. All right, Ruth, tell me, what do you prefer? Gentle men or bad boys? <laughs> Yeah. But I'm not saying bad boys. I'm not saying bad boys like Mareros. No, like bad boys like, you know, bad boy. Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> but I, I, I prefer, uh, I prefer, uh, so, knowledge. What? Gentlemen. You prefer gentlemen to bad boys? I prefer. Yes. Gentlemen. 
I prefer gentlemen to bad boys. Okay, good. So you, you still like the men, you know, to open the door of your car and come yeah. in and open the door and, okay, good. You know, I have an uncle. They have been married 54 years, I think. But I love my uncle like my father, but I hate him. Because they come once a year to El Salvador. They they've traveled all, all year they travel. They have money. Man. I mean I mean they they're retired and everything. So they, they go to Europe, they go here. But what I'm what I was gonna tell you is that um my uncle is such a gentleman. You know, he still opens the door. When we go to restaurants, he still pulls her, her chair. She my aunt. She sits down, he gets the menu, he gives it to her open, like, you know, choose baby, what do you want? After 50, 54 years. And uh, last year when they came, they rented a, a like a cus, a, a, what's that called those? Mini buses? Coasters. Oh. So we went to the beach. <laughs> And it's amazing, like around five or six in, in the afternoon, you know, when it's sunset, they go and walk in the beach holding hands. You know, and, and it's bad. I mean, my uncle makes us men look bad because I look at my wife, you know, and my wife, oh, I can lean those. And then she looks at me like, why aren't you like that? I'm oh, my God. Yeah, you know, and I'm a puyatio, like, easy, man. <laughs> he, my my dad my my father-in-law you know we all look at them you know like oh and you should see the faces of all the women oh look how sweet how beautiful and then they look at us like why are you like that oh god <laughs> I, I imagine that. yeah but you know, that's why I asked you, do you prefer gentlemen or bad boys? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but but my uncle, it's amazing, man. It's he's amazing. It's like that's what uh, and I I don't understand how fifty four years later you can still do that, you know. <laughs> it's cool. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, I women prefer gentlemen. And some women prefer bad boys. All right. So do you understand the difference? So when you say you prefer, it's like, okay, like, imagine I say, um, what do you prefer, beer or liquor? Like, if you ask me, hello? My computer froze. Hi, can you hear me? Hi. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, okay, yes teacher. I, I, I don't know what happened. I think the, the internet went off for a while. Okay, so when you prefer, it's like, okay, in this moment, I prefer A to B. When you say I rather, is that you like the two. But if you have no option, then I rather, I rather have A than B. Okay, Alexandra, what do you prefer, hot weather or cold weather? I prefer teacher um, cold weather than too hot. Too hot weather. No. Not too so, hot weather. Yeah, when you say I, I prefer, I the, the preposition is too. When I say prefer, yes, 
It's true. And when I say rather, it's them. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's okay, no problem. All right, women. Who do you prefer? Um, let me see. Superman or Captain America? Superman. I prefer Superman. But do you prefer the action hero or the or the actor? <laughs> the actor, teacher, of course. <laughs> Yeah, all women are crazy about that actor, huh? <laughs> Did you, what, what is his name? It's Henry Calvin. Yeah, did you see that movie, Enola Holmes? Enola yes, it's good, teacher. You, really, you liked it? I thought it was it's so good. boring. But. No, teacher. Yeah, you liked that? It was, oh, okay. Yeah, it's like I watched that. I finished watching that Gambit Queen in Netflix. Everybody. And that's a movie or? It's a serious. But you know, it was all right, but I thought it could be better. But I like the girl though. She's she's nice. She's cute. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me open the window again because. Or oh, can you see my window in this moment? No. Nope. No. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know, can you see now? Yes. 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 Teacher, right. I have a yes. question. I have Go a question, ahead. teacher. Shoot, Ronnie. If you, okay, if you don't don't prefer neither of the option, you use rather too. Yeah. In this case, I rather not. I rather not. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, and sometimes you. when you say "I rather not," is is a polite way of saying "no, thank you." Mm. Like, oh, mm, hey, do you want another pupusa? Uh, I rather not. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm full. <laughs> I'm full. And inside, he helped. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, um, instructions. Complete the conversation with would and the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. Would you prefer mm, a course in exercise science or our neutrinals, uh, nu what? nutritional science? What is the, um, what are the options? No. Oh my God. Take. Oh, very it's good. Take. It's right there. Yeah. Are you take. sure? <laughs> Would you prefer to I take? So. To take. Okay, but um, let me take away the. Okay, here are the answers anyway. Okay, so look, would you prefer to take a course in exercise science or? Neutral science. Imagine I tell you, okay, um, Sandra, you want a coupon for food. Mm. Would you rather have pizza or hamburgers? I'd rather pizza. Okay, good. But because food is the common denominator here. <laughs> but oh, like... Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. That's why. That's why I said, "Would you rather?" Because the, the pizza's your. I mean, I'm sorry. Food is your option. Okay. But like, I can tell you. Okay, Sandra, you want twenty dollars for Ugo. Ugo. What What do you prefer? Uh, do you prefer food or do you prefer um, hardware store? Mm, I prefer food. To a hardware store. Ah, oh, to hardware store. Okay. Because you know, in Ugo, you can, it's not only food, you can buy anything in Ugo, right? You can buy food, um, medicine, what else? 
hardware. Okay, so here is, but I prefer to register for, so in this case, this person here says, would you prefer to take a course in exercise science or nutritional science? So the two are science. So, but he says, but I prefer to register for nutritional science course because it's more useful for me in nursing. So if you notice here, the two sound good, but she'd prefer to take, to register for the other one because register, there's a purpose. What would you rather learn, English in Australia or Canada? Learn. Yeah. Learn. Yeah. Would you rather learn English in Australia or Canada? <laughs> Canada, right? Dude, Australia has strange exotic animals that will kill you. Yeah. Canada? I have cousins in Australia that sometimes they, they like, oh my God, I opened the door and look at this and the spider the size of my head. Like, oh, look at that spider. <laughs> like, oh. It's horrible, Luca. Please. Well, yeah, well, it's beautiful, but I mean, if, you know, it's very dangerous that, you know, like it's normal to see like a Komodo dragon. <laughs> no, no, like <laughs> strange bats. Yeah. That's the only bad thing. I saw uh, something. The spider is big. Yeah, it's mm. true. My 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 cousins do that. Yeah, and I saw a um in a program in Australia. They have almost ten. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember exactly the number, but almost the ten uh, spiders that are more the most the most dangerous uh, spiders are in Australia. So I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Have you, you ever met somebody it. with arachnophobia? I don't like No, it, not really. But, but uh, no, in that extreme. Oh, I have a very, very good friend. But in that time when we were beginning to be friends, I didn't believe him that you know, he, he had arachnophobia because like, but he had this extreme ugly arachnophobia. Like if he sees a spider, even on computer, he says, oh my God. And, you know, so one day I bought this spider, you know, those spiders that are sticky. And I put it in his desk in the drawer, you know, like a simple, you know, prank. And when he opened it, he fainted. He said, my God, fainted. Like, <clears throat> he had like an epileptic a seizure or something. Like, oh, yeah. okay. So yes, he is afraid of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will never do that again. I will never. <laughs> you know what I do have? I have trypophobia. Do you know what that is? Think with, with a you lot of holes. See. Yeah, a lot of holes. <laughs> it's nasty, man. But <laughs> yeah, oh, kind of. it's I don't know why I don't know how you get that, but it, you you do, and it's very very ugly. Well, <laughs> when you see things with a lot of holes, like oh, a lot it's of very, or, or bubbles. Yes, oh, like strawberries when they're you know when yeah. they're beginning. Oh, <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I can I can no, say in, a, in little spaces. You're claustrophobic. Yeah, I can yeah. breathe. Little. Me too. Do you like underground parkings? Me too. <laughs> no, not too much. Yeah, that's why I never go to um. What's Elevator. I call that? Elevator. No, no I well, but you elevators. Go to galerias. Galerias or, or the multiplaza, man. I hate, I hate those underground parkings. I get desperate yes, yes. quick. 
Yeah. Okay, listen. Next it says, if you need to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or a private tutor? Here, it would be have. Have. But you know, the only reason why I'm putting the answers is because have, contract, be, I mean, there, there's more words possible than just have. Okay, because you can also say if you, if you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or contract a, a private tutor, call a private tutor, visit a private tutor? I mean, there's many possible answers, but in this case, it has to be have. He says, I'd rather sign up for a chess. What? <laughs> then hire a tutor. I'm sorry, is that chess or class? Class, I think. Yeah. I'd rather sign up for a class than to hire a tutor. Mm -hmm. So a lot of mis typos here. Yeah. In this platform this time. Okay, next it says, would you rather join a core or an orchestra? An orchestra. Oh. What instrument would you like to play? The piano. I would like to play the violin. Yeah. I would like to play that. I would that, like that. to play the violin too or mm -hmm. the cello. Yeah. I would like to play the, the one with the disc. The really? It's you can't. That easy. <laughs> exactly. How, how can you go wrong in there? All you have to do is. Ks, 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 ks. Dude, imagine a piano, like or a piano, violin, or guitar. But in the orchestra, you know, you, could, you just go. Ks. Oh, the other one, like a, a triangle, and you need to, to touch them. Yeah, that one too. <laughs> but he, here it says, but i rather sing in a chord than play in an orchestra. Sing. Sing really is an ability. If you can't sing, please don't do it. It's very difficult. Okay, um, let's listen to a problem here. Um, well, not a problem, but it says, listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? Okay, so pay attention to Linda. Rick, that's not rich, and when? Listen to the courses, please. I can hear you, teacher. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for telling me. All right. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So, Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait. That's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh, yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait, why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting, and it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. 2. Rich So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. 
I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. All right, class. Linda, what is she doing? African dance and samba. Dancing African and samba. Good. What about Rich? Vegetarian cooking. Taking a course vegetarian cooking. Man, being vegetarian is very expensive, huh? It's a very expensive choice. No, vegan. Vegan is also very expensive. Yeah, vegan is very expensive. I have a cousin is vegan. It's very expensive. And especially in Salvador, because it's not very popular, like in the United States, you know, now it's, everybody's vegan. But here, like, there are no vegan restaurants or anything. Yeah, there they are more choices in these days. Well, yeah. Naturaland. Yeah. Go green, which is a really ridiculous price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about when? How to run a small business. How to run a small business, good. All right. When, when Stefani. I liked when Stefani, except when she's, when she started singing pop music. Like why? She was good. Okay, now it says in this class, you will listen to how people give some advice. You will see by and gerund in context. So let's listen to this. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Listen, Let's pay by attention listening to the advice or by given at the following movies. conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? 1. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know I put all the words together that have to do with food, 
or work or home or school, whatever I can find that my new words have in common. Two. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Go ahead and type them on a discussion box. All right, uh, let me see. Beatriz. Yes. I, I can't swim. What do you recommend? How, how do I learn to swim? Maybe you should you, try. Using, using by and adjourned. Um, maybe you should try to to take some some classes. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. But what I, what I wanted to hear was by an adjourned. You know, like the only way you can learn how to swim is by jumping in the pool. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, because really it's true. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> people take classes, you know, like, okay, do this, do this. And they keep you like that for two weeks. No, man, just push somebody and. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. No, but you know, you know, that expression is, okay, the only one you're going to learn is by jumping in the pool. By jumping in the pool. The only way you're going to learn how to drive is by driving. Yes. Yes. This, um, the best way you're going to have a healthy life is by eating healthy, healthy food. Healthy food. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you say by, this is to give advice. This is how you give advice using by and a gerund. Okay. By eating eating healthy food uh, by buying healthy food in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or uh, the only way you you get uh, to get good healthy is um, Okay, by, here's one. Here's one. Now tell me old school, old school. What is the best way my son is going to learn how to ride a bike? By riding a bike. Okay, by riding a bike, good. Or by taking the wheels off. <laughs> yeah. Or by making sure that my wife is not watching. Okay, dale, go. <laughs> and by falling, you have to fall. <laughs> yes. You know, you have to scratch yourself like, oh. Yeah, that's the only way to learn. Yeah. But you know what? I'll be honest, Gio. I don't think I will do that to my son. I think I will put protection to my son. Yeah. I mean, yes. my mother didn't do it with me. My mother was very, but you know, like, no, there, no. I, I, I'm going to put a glove. I don't want him to fall and and, and break it. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, Rambo, but <laughs> I will be more careful with my son. <laughs> okay, class. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Practice that, you know, to give an advice. You know, if you want to learn how to cook, a good way to learn how to cook is by watching videos on YouTube. Forget books. Now everything's on YouTube. Man, I now I can make atol de semilla de marañón. I can make I can make everything. But it, it never looks like the video, but I get the idea. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. class. Have a great day. I hope, really, I hope we don't get this Iota. Iota. Dice, está viendo un meme hoy que dice, se fue Eta y viene Iota, ya solo falta que nos lleve Uta. <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, we'll, it was funny, it's true. <laughs> okay, class, have a good night, okay? Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.